What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today Apple released iOS 17.3 Beta 1 for registered developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple did also release the first beta for iPadOS 17.3, WatchOS 10.3, macOS Sonoma 14.3, tvOS and HomePodOS 17.3, along with VisionOS 1.0 Beta 7. But of course, we are focusing primarily on iOS in this video, so we're gonna talk about what's new in the update. So let's start with the size because this size is pretty large. So we did come from 17.2, the final release. So it's always going to be a large update when you go from a beta to a final or vice versa, but it came in at 6.39 gigabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So expect a relatively large update. Now, as far as the build number goes, we're going to head into our settings general about 17.3. And the new build number here is 21D5026F. So we do have an F at the end of the build number, which indicates the obvious that we do have quite a few betas to go before the final release. And we'll talk more about release dates at the end of this video. I did also want to mention that we have a new modem firmware update as well. So it's now 1.40.00 on the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.3 beta one? And the first thing is pretty substantial. This is stolen device protection. So what this does is is it adds an additional layer of security in case somebody stole your iPhone and also has your passcode. So if you remember last year, we talked about how the Wall Street Journal did a report and there's basically a lot of people in big cities where they would get their phone stolen after the person who stole their phone had already known their password. So they were at a bar and the person typed in their phone. The thief was watching them the whole time. And so they knew the device's passcode and then they stole it from them and they were able to remove their Apple ID from the phone because they had the device passcode. Now, obviously that's going to be a major you know, issue with Apple and that's why the Wall Street Journal reported on that. And now with the new stolen device protection, that's most likely not going to happen. So you can access this and see more info by going into your settings and going to face ID and passcode and then putting in your passcode. And down here, we're gonna have a brand new option called stolen device protection. So this is off by default. You do have to opt into this, but you could see here, it does say this adds another layer of security when iPhone is away from familiar locations, such as home and work. Face ID is required to access certain data and a delay prevents quick changes to security settings. And there are a lot of layers to this feature. So I'm gonna reference the Wall Street Journal who did a great job of reporting on this. So there's a before and after scenario. So before this stolen device protection feature in 17.3, a thief would be able to use the passcode to change your Apple account password and lock you out when they stole it. But now if you have this feature turned on, if you want to change an Apple ID password when you're away from a familiar location like your home or your work, you're going to have to enter face ID or touch ID, and it will then implement an hour long delay before you can perform that action. So before you can change that password. And then after the hour has passed, you will have to reconfirm with another face ID or touch ID scan. Only then can the password be changed. So keep in mind here, you cannot use a passcode. You have to use face ID or touch ID. That way it knows, you know, you're the actual person who owns the phone. And here's another important scenario related to your passwords and the keychain. So before, when you use Apple's iCloud keychain as a password manager to store passwords for your bank, cash, and crypto apps, a thief could use the iPhone passcode to unlock the keychain and access them all. But now with stolen device protection turned on, the device requires your face ID or touch ID to access those passwords, the passcode, the four or six digit passcode will no longer serve as a backup for failed biometrics. And then here's a breakdown of what can be changed with only biometrics and no hour long wait. And then here are the ones where you have to do the biometrics, which is your touch ID or face ID, and then also wait an hour after you put in the correct face ID or touch ID. So as you can tell, this is a substantial feature for the iPhone. This is going to be a major feature that you're gonna see a lot of people recommend for the next several years moving forward. So I think this is an excellent addition. I think it took Apple way too long to add this, but at least it is here now. Now you can see I do have mine turned on. So if I go to turn off protection, you can see I do have a countdown from when I started this because I do have to wait an hour to turn this off. 
And I'm just gonna try to access my passwords just to test this really quickly. So it's gonna scan for my face. It's not gonna find it before you would be able to put in your passcode. But as you can see, it just kind of kicks me back to the home screen if I don't put in the correct biometrics. And over here on the left is gonna be me trying this on iOS 17.2. So we're gonna go down to passwords. We're not gonna scan, but you can see instantly it pulls up the passcode. So if you have that four or six digit passcode, you could just get access to anybody's you know passwords that they have saved in their iCloud keychain. Also new in iOS 17.3 beta one are the collaborative playlists. So yes, they have returned with iOS 17.3 beta one. So as you guys know, collaborative playlists were first introduced in 17.2 beta 1 and they lasted all the way through beta 3 but then beta 4 removed them and they were never in the final release for ios 17.2 so as you can see here i do have a collaborative playlist up top if you tap on those two people glyph icon you will see that this is where you get the collaborations and you have the approved collaborators pretty much everything is the same as it was beforehand and if you want to make an existing playlist a collaborative playlist if you want to like invite somebody to that you could just go to i'll just go to my tunes playlist right here and i'll tap on the plus icon and you will see you have invite friends to join and you do also have a toggle here to approve collaborators so that you have to approve anyone who wants to join apple did also release a new firmware update for the airpods airpods pro and airpods max today so if you are running the betas on your airpods check for an update because a new one just rolled out and if you're wondering about the firmware build numbers it's 6a307 except for the airpods pro 2 which is 6b34 and of course apple did not mention what's new in these firmware updates now as far as the performance goes i did run a geekbench test here on ios 17.3 beta 1 and i scored a 2927 on the single core and a 7 26 on the multi-core and if we compare that to ios 17.2 it is a little bit lower on both single core and multi-core but that's kind of expected for a first beta when it comes to the battery life of course it's too early to tell if it is any better or worse than 17.2 but keep in mind this is a first beta so you have to assume you have to just prepare for worse battery life than what you were seeing on 17.2 or some of the later betas on 17.2 so me personally i'm not expecting great battery life and i don't think you should either but of course i will report back to you guys when i have you know solid data supporting if the battery life is better or worse all right so now let's talk about what to expect next from apple so next up is going to be ios 17.3 beta 2 but we're probably not going to see that until the week of january 8th that is an entire four weeks until the next beta release now that is just my prediction that is not you know set in stone apple did not confirm that but that's typically what Apple does with these betas. They don't usually release anything on the week of Christmas or on the week of New Year's. So that leaves us at the week of January 8th until we see iOS 17.3 beta 2. Now we could see a 17.2.1 possibly as early as next week. However, I think that is also most likely coming in January. So this update, this video you're watching right now may be the last what's new video of 2023. And then finally, I want to answer the question of should you update or not so as you guys just heard we're probably not going to see another beta update for about a month so with that in mind if you have your main device that you run betas on you might want to reconsider updating like unless you really need the collaborative playlist feature or you really need the stolen device protection like maybe you're going overseas and you or you're going somewhere unsafe and you don't want to you know get your device stolen and locked out of your account then sure go ahead and update but if you're not in one of those two camps you might want to just reconsider and just wait until beta 2 because you got to keep in mind this is a first beta of software you're not going to see the best battery life you're going to see some bugs and it may not be worth it to have issues for a whole month on your main phone so just keep that in mind of course if you're okay with that then go ahead and update i know most of you guys are okay with the occasional bug and not great battery life but you know go ahead and update i can't stop you but for the majority of people especially those who usually only install you know main software or public release software you should just hold off until at least beta 2. but anyways guys there you have it that is ios 17.3 beta 1 with a game changing feature in stolen device protection. That is an awesome feature that I will most definitely be keeping enabled on my personal device but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also let me know your thoughts down there in the comments below and also subscribe if you want to see future ios 17 videos but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon